in this part we are gonna make the image follow the mouse and it's again it's really really simple it a very nice effect and a very nice um, part where you can put it in your website um, for, for this uh, we're gonna need to take the X and Y position of the mouse and I'm gonna build a custom hook gonna be called uh, use mouse position which is a simple uh, arrow function inside you're gonna store the X and Y uh, position into a state uh, which is gonna be mouse position and let's we have a function to update the state position and use state react use state which is gonna be an object with x initial values of x and y to be zero and let's return the mouse position inside of here we will receive the um, mouse position okay um, now we need to um, add the mouse move event listener to the window uh, the mouse move is uh, um, responsible for uh, the cursor uh, we're gonna use we're gonna add the event listener or on the mount and gonna destroy it on the unmount Let's add a window event listener mouse move and we need to uh, give it a a callback function let's call it update mouse position and let's create this function it mouse position which, which you will get the event the mouse event and we'll update the state with the current uh, position of the mouse client X and event client y and on the unmount we gonna remove the mouse move event listener we on the callback event let's let's console log the uh, positions to see if it works it should work uh, what's happening uh, why so as we can see we get the uh, values of um, the mouse and we need to pass it them to the media component in order to update uh, the position of it. So let's pass it um, uh, X and Y. Uh, also, we need it to be updated only when it is active otherwise it's gonna be updated and moved um, behind the screen unseen um, with all the medias now um, in the media we get the um, the x value and y value and uh, we are gonna pass it to the translate since it's more performant it runs on the um, not on the CPU but it runs on the um, GPU so 
um, it's not gonna be expensive if we update it um, each time the mouse moves so uh, let's give it a style and transform transform and with a uh, translate right translate and for uh, the X pixels and Y pixels um, now we need to make some changes into the CSS we need to remove these three values since we don't need them anymore and let's see okay now you can see uh, the image follows the uh, cursor the mouse the only thing that's left is to um, like point the image to the center we need a way to um, know or to find the uh, the the real width and height of the image um, so, uh, this will uh, then we'll need we'll need to subtract uh, a half of the width uh, to um, the current position x position and the half of um, the y, the height to the current y position uh, gonna build another custom hook const use uh, let's call it use uh, size um, and this uh, again gonna be a uh, arrow function and inside of it we need um, two states one is uh, for dimensions dimensions uh, set dimensions uh, which is um, For now, is an empty object. Set uh, set dimensions. Uh, and another one is uh, we need a ref to uh, pass it to the image, and um, with the help of um, the ref, we will get the uh, height and um, the the width of uh, the image inside our hook um, so we need again a node set node and a use state state with and with the default value of null let's import use state and let's return um, the ref is gonna be callback that's gonna get the node and and we'll get we'll uh, set the node in our state and we'll give it an empty since we don't need it to rerun each time the component is re-rendered um, and we're gonna return the uh, ref and the um, dimensions so we need to refactor our component uh, Okay, um, and we'll receive the ref width and the height, and from the use size hook, and we'll pass the ref to the image. Um, now we need to get the height and the width of um, the the. the uh, image right uh, we're gonna use the uh, use layout 
effect since uh, it won't block the um, the thread so use layout effect again is we'll receive a callback and we gonna pass the uh, node the node to, to it and if we have a node since it can be null um, we need to measure some things right so let's make a measure which will be uh, set dimensions in the state and we need to uh, get the width and height from somewhere uh, we'll build another function later let's see if we can call it maybe get dimension object that will receive the node and down here we're gonna call the measure function um, dimension uh, get dimension object again it's really really simple it's gonna get the node um, then we can get the uh, client rectangle of the node this will gi give us some uh, measures and some coordinates of the um, DOM element in the whole tree so uh, rect will get uh, get bounding client rect and we're gonna return an object with an width of rect width and height of rect height and uh, this is an arrow function um cool um again as i said we need to uh subtract the half of the width and half of the y from the coordinate so it's gonna be width divided by two and height divided by two um i think that's it I think it should work like this. Um, let's see. Nice, it works. And we get our image in the center. And if you like the video, please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Bye.